Now to the death of a top Iranian nuclear scientist who was considered the father of his nation's nuclear enrichment program. ABC's Julia McFarland joins us from London with reaction to the apparent assassination and what it could mean for the future of a nuclear deal. Good morning, Julia. Good morning, Eva. This was a brazen attack. The Iranian president this morning vowing to exact revenge. Mahzen Farizadeh was shot and killed in an ambush as he was traveling through the Iranian countryside. His bodyguards rushing him to the hospital where he later died of his wounds. The foreign minister of Iran describing the assassination as an act of state terror, adding that there were serious indications that Israel was to blame. Now, Mahzen Farizadeh was the driving force behind Iran's atomic weapons program. Program. He was the country's most renowned nuclear scientist, as well as a senior officer in that elite force known as the IRGC. In 2018, he was even named by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in a presentation about Iran's nuclear program. And 10 years ago, the Iranian government said that Israel was behind the assassination of four other of their nuclear scientists who were killed between 2010 and 2012. Now, Israel's never publicly confirmed or denied involvement, but has always said that it will never tolerate a nuclear Iran. Eva? Julia, this assassination comes in the final weeks of the Trump administration. What is the significance of that? Right. Well, remember two years ago, President Trump withdrew the United States from the Iranian nuclear deal, that agreement which lifted sanctions in exchange for Iran dismantling its nuclear program. And since then, Iran has gone back to ramping up its enrichment program. Now, President-elect Joe Biden has signaled that he wants to rejoin that accord. But this brazen assassination may make that political maneuvering all the more difficult for the incoming administration. Meanwhile, the former CIA director John Brennan overnight on Twitter describing it as a criminal act and said that the Iranians would be wise to wait for the return of quote American leadership instead of responding against their perceived culprits. Wit. All right, Julia McFarland for us. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it.